everybody, how you doing? I'm starting the vlog with a cookie in my hand. Hello, hi, how are you doing? Uh, as you can tell by the title, it's another themed weekend vlog. I'm very excited. I've got Zara next to me. She's just having a cookie as well. We made these cookies yesterday. They're um, Terry's chocolate orange cookies. They are, oh, look at them. They're the best ones. I think these are the best cookies we've ever made in our life. I'll link the cookie recipe video in the um, description box. I'll also link it up in the top corner as well. Do excuse my hair, it's just drying. So yes, as you can tell by the title of the video, we are going, da -da -da -da, we're going to Spain today. I'm very excited. Well, you sing song. We're, we're going to oh. Ibiza. That wasn't what I was thinking of. I was thinking, we're all going on a... We're gonna have a party. We're on two very different wavelengths here. Yeah, but Ibiza's in Spain. It makes sense. You need I to go with it. Ibiza. 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 <laughs> if you is the first vlog you've tuned into, <laughs> then um, <laughs> you're gonna be like... We haven't lost it. What, what on earth? Obviously, we're in lockdown. We're still restricted with travel. So, myself and Zara take ourselves to different countries. We've been to, we've been to Italy. We went to America. We've been to France. We did an Indian themed day-ish last weekend. We went to the 1920s and a lot of um, you guys at home and also people on Instagram said, go to Spain. So that's what we're gonna do. So it's a Saturday today, it's a really chill day. I think it's like midday. Yeah, it's quarter to one. So we're just having a super chill morning. We're making, we've ate some cookies, we made ourselves a coffee. We're gonna be making some delicious Spanish tapas. We're gonna do patatas bravas, which are like tomato-y uh, potatoes. We're gonna do pedron peppers, a version of pedron peppers. And then we're gonna do like a white bean, whoever, white bean, large white bean, white wine, sage, tapas. Garlic. Garlic. And then we're making churros. Churros. I feel like I can't really do Spanish very well, but yeah, churros. And then um, we're gonna learn the flamenco. I rang my mum this morning, and um, she said I should be good at it because there's a lot of stomping and you're with your so feet. I am very heavy footed, and um, apparently you've got to do that, Ripa! like that. Ripa! But Zara can't do that. Mm. Yeah, you've got your Spanish hair going on. I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> it looks very voluminous. I feel like we're going to get into character. You've got a dress to wear, I, haven't no, you? No, I've realised when I was getting ready this morning. Did I you have, get rid of it? No. I have a it. very flamenco-y skirt. My yellow and white polka dot one. Yeah. Mm. Do you still have that? Yeah, oh, great. Cool. Yeah, we'll wear that. I'm probably going to... We'll. Gonna... Oh, you'll wear that. Obviously, I'm not going to wear that. And then I'll put like a um, Antonio Banderas, some kind of Spanish thing on. And then we'll learn the... Flamenco, but this this is the hand. So um yeah, I'll catch you guys when we start cooking in the kitchen. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well. And if you have missed the previous vlogs, I'll link them down below because they're alright, laugh. I mean Oh we're also making sangria. We're gonna start making that oh, soon actually because it needs to like ferment. In my mouth. Ferment in your mouth grid. That's a very long four minute intro. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna start making some sangria because please do be aware that everything I say in this video is gonna be said with a Spanish accent. <laughs> Makes it seem more authentic. So um, I just did a quick Google of a recipe. I grabbed some bits and bobs because I knew we were having a Spanish evening. Went to the food shop. So we've got some orange juice, an apple, an orange. This recipe we're using adds brown sugar. I'm not sure if that's truly authentic, but the recipe we're following is from the minimalist baker and it did come up as the top search. So must be good. Uh, and then we're using red wine, obviously. And you can do white sangria, which I'm sure will be really nice. We do have some white port as well, but uh, this is Cabernet Sauvignon. These are quite fancy bottles of red wine. I was very, very kindly gifted this um, from a job I did with the Travel Retail Awards. So, so this is Chilean red wine. So we're gonna pop the apple and orange in here, muddle it up, add the orange juice and red wine, and then it should be good to go. Right guys, we're gonna do a little wine tasting with you because that's what they would do if we went to Spain. Something me and Zara would absolutely partake in. So I've just opened up the bottle. Um, I mean, come on. Well, I don't know how much, that's a splash to me. There we go, that's perfect. Good. And then some in there. A lot of people ask us where our wine glass is from. They're actually just from Ikea. Right, now you've got to sniff and smell. <laughs> sniff and smell. <laughs> so you have to, um, you know, Really give it a, a good old swirl. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do this one day and just drop the glass, I can see it. <laughs> I'm gonna be there like, oh yeah. Oh god. Oh, yeah. It smells like a headache. Who thought it smells like a headache? Who'd have thought on a Saturday? <laughs> Right, chin chin. I'm still... Oh, you're still swelling. Yeah. This is no disrespect to wine tasters, by the way. To be honest, I have done quite a few <laughs> wine tasting courses. I used to work in restaurants, so I fully understand. So you, you bring it to your nose. It's different to oh. whiskey and gin tasting because... Do you know you... what, though? When I see people do that in a restaurant, I'm just like, neck it. Stop, stop it. Stop arsing around and, and neck down. it. 
So you, t you smell with your mouth open. And, and then just swirl it. Oh, don't do that's disgusting. You don't do that. You're supposed to spit it out. And then the tannins caught your mouth. Oh, let me do that. <laughs> you just drink yours. I think that's no, delicious. I do that. Right, so swill it. I mean, it's not mouthwash. <laughs> Tasting with Luke and Zara. <laughs> Imagine that was the way to just drink alcoholic drinks like you spit them on the floor. Oh, it's tasty. I think that That's can go in. I mean, it is on the floor. Right, so we've got our apples and oranges in here, and then we need to just grab some orange juice. Oh, okay, so we need to do three quarter cups of orange juice. So one. That's why I count with you, love. So you know you can count. Oh my god. Onos, dos, tres. <laughs> Onos. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, here we go. And then we need to grab a spoon. And then like oh. muddle it just to release all of like the juices. Okay, and then we need to add one tablespoon. Oh, hello. One tablespoon, thank you, Sarah, of brown sugar. This is just to taste. I think it might need it, but yeah, perfect. Now we're gonna pour in the delicious red wine that we've just sampled. So yeah, you um the like lets all of the flavours infuse. Then when you serve it, you add ice and you can add more orange juice to taste. Ah, I knew there was ice. Mm. So this needs to go in the fridge now. Home. Until we want it. Okay, so we've got our little iPad set up here, and um, we've got a Spanish flamenco dancing tutorial for kids. Do bear with because it's actually quite intense, but it's not a dance, it's just actually how to get like the technique down. This is Jenny. Meet everyone, meet Jenny. So basically, Jenny's got her hand movements down, and she's got her feet gone as well. She does it with music. Oh god, look at Jenny go. This looks actually quite complicated. I feel like we should have forewarned the downstairs neighbours that we're going to be stomping no. and we're going to be <laughs> clapping. Right, I will link this video. If you've watched these for quite some time, we do learn the dance and then we get in costume. Happens. Zara never accepts when she goes wrong. Yes, she does. Right. The claps are as follows. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? Maybe it is me. <laughs> You're missing it. it. Really it's not. not listen, it's right. Do it without clapping. Okay, I'll do this. No, don't. Just don't do it. Just watch. You weren't. I, I won't. Oh god, we're getting steps involved now, guys. Hand on waist. Why are you struggling? I don't know. The tiptoe is not very comfortable for you. Shouldn't we spin? So one, uh, two, three, four, and uh, two, two, three, four. Or should we do eight? And then we go leg down because I'm moving the sofa. And then slowly back up. Okay. So we've put together some form of choreography. This is known as our dress rehearsal. Our dress rehearsal is usually actually more better than the main no, performance. No, this isn't the dress rehearsal. Is it not? No, I thought you said this no, was no, the dress rehearsal. The dress rehearsal was like Always the dress when you're in the uniform. The uniform? This is our last. Attempt. Try. Yeah. <laughs> How much clapping audio has actually been in this vlog? I'm scared. Right, we're gonna have a glass. I'm gonna have a glass of sangria and get in costume. Good lord, it's stressful. I'm quite good at this. You're brilliant at it. Right, let's have some sangria. Chin 
Tschüsschen. And uh, how to say cheers? Salut. Did I say it right? Is it salut? Salut. No, that's hola. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's really nice. It's all over my mouth. How nice is that? That's lovely. I'm not sure about the garnish. I'm just going to put it in. Oh, that's delicious, guys. Happy sangria. Do you spit this out? Just drink. <laughs> no, you drink this. <laughs> okay, so we need to look into the wardrobe now and try and find something flamenco-esque. So, I'm thinking they always wear like white or red. And since I don't have red, we're going to have to opt for white. But we're going to go for something quite loose fitting. So we'll do a white shirt. And then I'm thinking like some baggy-ish black trousers. These ones are great. Okay, so this is what we're going for. We're going for a very loose fitting, quite a low scoop. I mean, the nipple is nearly out, got the sangria. Got some black high-waisted trousers on. I might tie a neck scarf around. Let's see if I can try and find one. And I think we've got the finished look. Zara looks amazing too. <laughs> Flamenco dancing. Ooh. The neighbours are looking at us. Guys, I'm warm. Flamenco is warm, and I think our neighbours actually hate us because we've just done a lot of. Okay, so we're making a start on our tapas. The whole idea of tapas as well, a great thing is that you can just cook as you go. So we're going to have these, which is the patatas bravas, and then we're going to do another dish in maybe an hour. So it's great. So patatas bravas, following the recipe along here, this is what we're going to get hopefully at the end. So you're gonna need obviously patatas, which are potatoes. Um, the recipe says use chili, but we don't have chilies, we've just got chilies in a jar, same thing. Salt, pepper, two kinds of chopped tomatoes, garlic, of which you're gonna need four cloves, and to finish off, some parsley. So we need to peel these and pop them in a tin. Okay, so we popped the chopped up potatoes in uh, like a roasting tin and got them on the hob, on like a gas hob. Both of them are going in olive oil and then we've got them like nice and crispy. So we need to add a good generous sprinkling of rock salt, pepper and then pop them in a 225 degree oven for around 10 minutes and then we add the garlic and the tomato. So the patatas bravas are just crisping off in the oven so we thought we'd get ahead of time because as we drink more sang... Oh, <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> As we drink more sangria, um, I feel like we're just not going to want to make churros later because we do this every they're time. They're going to want to eat them. Uh, yeah, but we will not want to. Exactly. So um, we're going to get cracking on them now, pop it in a piping bag, and then pop it in the fridge. So then we can just cook them and then it's done. So this is what you're going to need. So I found the recipe. I'll link the recipe down below. It's so easy. You just need plain flour, caster sugar, one egg, salt, uh, water, Butter, and then the recipe doesn't add vanilla, but I think a little splash of vanilla won't do any harm. I've made these before in food technology at school, so that's... God, how old am I now? 22, 16, 15... Seven years ago I made churros, so this is... This is gonna test... God, that makes you sound old, right? This is gonna test my memory. So Zara's has added two cans of chopped tomatoes to the, the potatoes, and then we're gonna do garlic. Four cloves of garlic, we're just gonna give that a quick stir, add the chilli, and bang it in the oven for half an hour, and it's done. Okay, so we've just stirred in the garlic, chilli, all the good stuff, and we're gonna go back into the oven now to roast for nearly half an hour. On the hob, we've just melted the butter, sugar and water together and it needs to come to the boil. And then we're gonna add the flour and egg. Okay, so, oh. <laughs> we both just said the sangria is getting to our head. This is dangerous. We're gonna be fine. We need to we add some water. Yeah. Sangria is really strong, and I genuinely think by the end of this vlog we might be a little bit tipsy, but let's just roll with I it. I feel like we're gonna finish the sangria and I'm gonna want a cocktail. Mm. Can you in the pan, I just added the flour and cooked it on the hob until we've got this really, really, really stiff 
paste like this. You can do this with a whisk or if you've got an electric whisk by all means, but what I'm gonna do is just add the egg straight in. We're gonna leave it to cool ever so slightly and then beat it until it's nice and smooth. It might not look like it's come together, but have faith, it will. A film like that. Yeah. Okay, so I've just beaten <laughs> the hell out of this. Oh my god, my arm, like, uh, I can't. Turns. Sorry, you literally stood there and drank sangria. I helped emotionally. You did, okay, great. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I just beat it and beat it this, and now it is a beautifully smooth consistency. So what I'm gonna do is just pop that into a piping bag with a star fit nozzle on the end, and then just leave it, so then we can cook it later with some chocolate sauce, and that'll be done. It's still slightly warm, but the door is in there. I've basically scraped as much as I possibly can out of the pan. So we're just gonna pop that to one side over here and that'll be ready to cook later on in some oil. So these have had around 20 minutes in the oven. I'm just gonna give them one final stir. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. These look amazing, smell even better. It's our first tapas course. I mean, it's a, that's huge. We probably should have half the portion size, but hey ho. <laughs> Finished potatoes bravas. Oh my god, they literally look amazing. We've just got some aioli as well that we're gonna dip them in. Oh my god, I literally cannot wait. I know potatoes bravas are the stereotypical what people think Spanish tapas are, and there is a whole realm of tapas. Obviously, we are vegetarian. I cannot tell you how delicious they are. It's probably one of the most simple dishes, but good lord, like some of the potatoes are like quite gnarly. Oh, dipped in aioli. I'm, I'm it's a dish with potatoes and, and mayonnaise. They're so flavoursome. Who needs to be in They're thin? so hot, but I just can't wait. Yeah, so it's time for the second tapa, tapas of the evening, and this one looks delicious. Never cooked it before, never had it before, but it does look very nice. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. So this is the recipe. It is a sage, garlic, and white wine butter bean dish, and it looks absolutely delicious. So this is our second tapa. So you're gonna need some white wine, olive oil, two cans of butter beans, some garlic, eight cloves of garlic, which I'm, I can fully get on board with, bay leaves, onions, salt, two lemons, and some sage leaves. And that's literally it. Relatively simple instructions as well, so I'm very excited. And we're gonna have it with some lovely crusty sourdough bread. Okay, so I have chopped up two white onions fairly finely, and then I need to grab some olive oil. It takes quite a lot of olive oil, it's 150 mils, and I need to pop it in quite a high-sided saucepan. Okay, so in our saucepan we are, we're basically sweating all of the onion, garlic, and sage down. I also popped in two bay leaves and a little bit of salt, and that's looking great. So now we are gonna add two cans of butter beans, and you also add the juice as well, so you literally just empty the whole can directly in. You can use specific Spanish beans. I think they're called hudion beans. Or they're like large butter beans. My auntie and uncle gave us a jar before and they're ginormous. They're the huge ones. Yeah, I think they're hud hudio. I'm not quite sure. Now it's two cups of white wine. This is just a nice dry white wine. But this is looking pretty good in terms of liquid amount. So I'm just gonna leave that to simmer. And so you've got to simmer it for 20 to 25 minutes until it's kind of like reduced and it looks delicious. So we're gonna leave it to it. Oh no, ruined. no Zara, this isn't even funny. Oh no. Oh no. I wanna sue Tesco, I'm gonna sue Tesco. And they deserve to give us flights oh, to Spain. Dinner. For God's sake. You silly goose. Oh my God, I'm absolutely livid. <laughs> How? How? Oh, this is a joke. Guys, I'm actually so angry. Okay, so ignoring the fact that the pepper grinder basically just exploded in our beautiful and delicious white bean stew, all we did was season it with salt and pepper and grated in some fresh lemon zest. I will link the book to the recipe for this down below. Zara's is over it now and clearly is just dishing up. We're just toasting some sourdough on the griddle and then we're gonna dig in. It does look delicious. And it did need a lot of pepper, so I guess it's not so bad. Oh, this literally looks so delicious. I'm gonna have that one on the left and then come back for more if I fancy more. Amazing. I'm so excited. Fab? Yeah? Piece of sourdough on the side. Just gonna drizzle with a little bit more olive oil on both the dishes and then that is good to dig in. Our second tapa was absolutely delicious. We wolfed that down. We were watching a little film and um, it's now time for dessert. I'm so excited. We're making churros. So we made the batter earlier. I've got some oil on the hob. Okay, cool. 
So this is just regular vegetable oil and I've got the heat fairly high to get it nice and hot. And then this is our piping bag full of the churros batter. I'm just gonna get some scissors and you just pipe it directly in and then strip off how much you'd like and then let them fry away. Okay, so this is our finished little churro setup. These are just some extra ones that couldn't fit in our little ramekin. They look amazing. We just sprinkled them in a little bit of cinnamon sugar and zaram and some chocolate. I'm so, so excited. This is literally like one of my favorites. Favorite dessert ever, right? Let's take another living room. Right guys, we're gonna go in for the taste test. Here we go. Oh, Okay, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. We finished off the chocolate. We finished off the sangria. All they should have top up on the sangria. Didn't yeah, they? we've had a lot of sangria. All that's left to do is get a siesta, aka go to bed. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, as always, do give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. Let us know where you'd like us to go next. We're always in the mood for some ideas. The camera battery is literally flashing up here. We'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.